It's so refreshing to have some actual weather to talk about here on the weekend. So many times I just have to remind you that it's another perfect day in San Diego. Not necessarily the case this weekend, unless you like clouds and some showers and some wind, then I guess it is kind of perfect. You even see some little drops of showers here on the water there from our Coronado Sky Cam. That is going to be sticking with us in the morning, not necessarily along the coast, but some inland and mountain neighborhoods are going to have that chance for rain in the morning as well. It's going to be gusty again. Those Santa Ana winds are going to be sticking with us through Monday, and then it picks back up midweek. Again, increasing the chance for a fire risk. So keep that in mind. It's going to be dry and it's going to be gusty. This is what your day looks like tomorrow. According to our future cast, those chances for showers again inland and in the mountains, then it's going to clear up. And so for the most part, you're going to be left with partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. The other thing I talked about breezy conditions. We in fact have a wind advisory for those mountain and desert neighborhoods that expires Sunday at 4 a.m. And this is why. In the meantime, you will be able to see potential wind gusts in those areas reaching 45 to maybe 55 miles an hour. I'm going to stop the future cast here. This is when it expires and you can see just how fast those sustained winds are out there in the desert. Then it tapers off just a bit, maybe uh, in some areas, but still very breezy up and down the entire area. So expect that to be kind of the story of your day for your Sunday temperatures around the area right now in the 50s and 60s for most of us, although 45 degrees in Julian tomorrow's highs are going to be about five to 10 degrees below average for this time of year in the 60s, uh, 64 in La Jolla, 65 in Encinitas, 70 in San Marcos and in Ramona, 77 in Ocotillo Wells. Let's not forget also overnight we are turning back the clock. We get an extra hour of sleep, but that also means an hour less of sun because new sunrise is going to be at or sunset. I should say is at 455 p.m. The next seven days along the coast, you're going to be in the 60s for the most part. A high of 70 on Monday. We're going to take you hour by hour here on Sunday. You're going to Start the day off fairly cool, 59 degrees before we reach the mid 60s. Inland neighborhoods are going to be fairly similar in the 60s and 70s across the board. Warmest day of the next seven days is going to be Election Day on Tuesday. It should be in the deserts. You can have an, expect to see a high of 81 on Tuesday.